and he never go out from Vrindavan. When the Kurura comes, he gives him to the Javana to take water. And from Narayan Krishna, they feel and then come out. And he went out. When a Kurura comes, many Vrajvasi after that not to go to listen Bhagavad. In Vrindavan. And he never killed anyone. Yes, so Ananda never killed. Why he will kill? He not kill, come to kill. He comes to love. So killing job, he ordered to Narayan to do that. Do this, do this, and he do. You want to read that Adi Dira, four canto, Chaita Chaita Amritari, and you will know that. Very crystal clear. What they give, and everybody has to listen. How oh, is instructing instruct, to the Narayan to do that? Right, Jalan Maharaj? Yes. Yes. And why he is supreme? Because he leaves his opulence to come to love exchange. That is his supreme. No God can do that. So he is like Krishna to Bhagavan That to understand, only you need the association who knows about that. What is the meaning of the love? Who leaves the love and he kill others? Putana come with the putting in the nipples, poison, to give the milk to one, uh, just uh, his Krishna. Imagine. So, we give first the position of Mother just so that to her. So, Krishna has a three mothers. One is Devaki, one is Jasoda, and one is Putna. In this world, there are three types of mothers who want to see his son as God and who want to love his son and one who want to before kill to the son. There are three types of mothers exist in this world. Abortion is killing us. It is also restricted in uh, Christian philosophy. Right? We give the position of mother. Why? He said he tried to give me 
personality of Godhead, Svaya Bhagavat, are Bhagavata's own words. This word has never been used in any other scripture, nor for any other form of Godhead but Sri Krishna. With the help of that verse, the greatly realized Acharyas have considered the truth of Sri Krishna. In their opinion, this is the root, Haribhasa, or technical terms of Srimad Bhagavata. Anyame Niyama Karini Paribhasa. That sentence, which enshrines a subject matter which was described in an irregular way into some kind of rule, is called Paribhasa. That which is read only once in the scriptures and through which millions upon millions of other sentences are regulated. I guess I have to read again. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always go back. My English is not good. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, <clears throat> With the help of that verse, the greatly realized Acharyas have considered the truth of Sri Krishna. In their opinion, this is the root Paribhasa. Paribhasa means explanation. The technical term of Srimad Bhagavata. Aniyame niyama karini paribhasa. Not say in Sanskrit. Yeah. Sure. That sentence, which enshrines a subject matter, which was described in an irregular way, into some kind of rule, is called paribhasa. Explanation. Meaning. Very technical. Because Krishna is very technical. Krishna is technical, but Vrindava is Krishna. Simple. Nobody believed that the cowboy can be a supreme lord without knowing this. And gardener, he will become gardener of watchman. I think he's watching us. Watchman, watchman, watching a strong person come here. He immediately throw out. You come with a bad intention, then he will throw you out. This is the work of watching. Mm. <laughs> you are not fit for the lap. Go this place, that place can refuse to you. Go to Puri Maya Bhuri, because you are not fit for the lap. <laughs> Question. Yeah, the question. Um, so I understand um, that sentence which enshrines it means 
Swayam Bhagavan, the subject matter which was described in an irregular way into some kind of rule. This part I don't understand what it means. So, irregular way means it's not really like um, understood properly. You know? If it's described in a regular way, it means that it's not really clear. Okay, irregular means not normal, not the normal way. So it's not really clearly described. So then the Acharyas, right, they, um, they turn it into a rule. Okay, they give it regularity. Okay, so we have to look at the example of this. That which is read only once in the scriptures, so it appears this one sentence of Shiva's, and then after that, they give deeper uh, realization to it, they give a uh, more regular understanding of it. So maybe if we keep reading, they'll explain this. Um, it says, the verse... Krishna to Bhagavan Swayam is found only once in the entire Bhagavad. It's, it's only once. It's, it's in a regular way. It's only once. Only one means only one is the Swayam Bhagavan. That is Vajrayana. Mm. Yes. Mm. Then subsequently they're giving a better understanding of it. Why? Because somebody like his opponents. So regular way means simple way. You understand the good, not understand, take time to do. It's not that uh, the opponents is not his nature. Opponents is his nature. But he leave all opponents. That is the beauty of him. Somebody has no money, <laughs> and somebody has everything, and he leaves everything. <laughs> to understand this is very difficult. <laughs> Why he leaves everything? He can do everything by sitting. Then why not he do? Only by thinking he can do He don't want to do this. Why? Because he wants to relish exchange of love. Because he is missing that. Love cannot taste by sitting one place and without relation. You want to relate with everybody, even to the cow. Even to the flowers, even to the gardener. But he is not a gardener, uh, boss of the land, but he wants to be a gardener. He make a boss to Radhika, <laughs> queen of the town. And he wants to raise that. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come? Because no, my, many not understand his regular way. So again Chaitanya come to explain that. Normal way he explained that. No matter where. No matter where. Simple way. Simple thing we not understand. Communication thing easy to understand. Yesterday, Mahajibi Baba said, I think uh, Charan Baba asked, Charan Baba asked, what's the qualification to become Baba? And he said, naturally he wants to Baja. That is the qualification of Baba, the natural. So, 
confuse me. This is, therefore, I don't understand this. I think natural. All the people wants to be in love. They want to give love and to receive love. This is for me natural or not? By like Krishna, this is the wish from everybody to be in love. Yes, that is a pure state. Is natural. Pure state. It's natural. Liberated state natural. But uh, we are conditioned state, we have self and we have ego. We have material desire. Then natural thing becomes unnatural. So if perfect stage, that is natural. I make the difference between material love Everybody wants material love, and here it's spiritual. Yes, spiritual love is selfless. Material love is kind of, you know, egoistic. So, this Baba mentioned, you know, like Baba did have no other desire to do bhajan, to, to please Radhika, to, to serve Radhika, to worship Radhika. So, like Baba is very natural, but uh, for us, some of us ego, some has material desire, is not natural. So, you are right, you know. Actually, natural, our living entity, natural state is to love, to love the Lord, love Ishtadeva, love each living entity, but uh, we are, present moment, we are conditioned. Our ego, our material desire, that is our problem. May I add? Rade, Rade, you are right. And uh, Baba also loves everyone. But what is the difference, what my understanding, what is the difference spiritual and material? In material consciousness, I love, every, I love everyone because I want to be a nice person. And Baba don't have this desire. I love everyone because everyone is Radha Dashi, but everyone, the heart inside is Radha Mohan. Center is different. Sit Radha Mohan or, or I'm a good person. This is different what I think. Baba loves everyone, but difference is here. No, no. Sorry. It was not clear. Baba loves also everyone. Everyone has to love everyone. The thing is this, one loves everyone by her understanding, material understanding. They no connect themselves with the divine yesterday. So their love becomes useless because they want to love with their senses to test that. And that is the blockage in their life. Love is a divine and without connection of divine you cannot be a divine understanding will never come. And that way, first we have to love to the Ishtadev. Jesus loved to his Father. <coughs> this Father is the goal of Jesus. So this way, his Ishtadev is fixed. And then he see in every place his father. So say, love your neighbor. Because love to neighbor means all are the son and the part and partial of the father. When you not connect yourself with the yesterday, it will never happen like this. If you no love to the yesterday, it will never ha happen. If Jesus never say, love to me, love to your Guru Dev, he said, love to your father. 
is today. His is today was father, who is not the material father, divine father. Divinity was there, that he loves. To his father, Brajendranand, he said, love. And we never do, so we not find. Who is his father? Devaki Nandan or Brajendra Nandan? No. Brajendra Nandan, not Devaki Nandan. Mm. Why I say Devaki Nandan? Because Krishna has many sons. I don't remember the name, but one of the sons is also Jesus. In Dorika Lila it happened. So why not be explaining to others to understand that you will not see Father? Why is it? Because you have no love for Father. I have a love, I can see. But in our problem, we never fixed with yesterday. And we want to love myself. Then I bring to the senses this And it becomes a put. We never develop relation. We are satisfied with sensing you are. That's it, over, done. Mm -hmm. Business is finished. Mm -hmm. If you love, to love means to love is the day. And all and part and parcel of this is the day. There is no way without love. But love has to be in purity, in divine way. Atma Sukh Priti Vanja Dhare Kamnam Krishna Sukh Priti Vanja Dhare Premnam Bhagla Right? Atma Sukh Priti Vanja Dhare Kamnam Kama is a Kama Nothing Funny This definition cannot come without relation with divine. You cannot do it. And do, always you will do the mistake because ego will come in your presence, because body will come and your senses will come to feel it. So it become temporary, done. In one day, over. <coughs> so he, he explained simple way. Now you want to go details, then you have to know to go details. What is prema and what is karma? Mm. So, <clears throat> the Mahavakya great sentence or slogan is like a great king who proudly and independently flies his banner of victory over the heads of all scriptural saints. This knowledge of Sri Krishna being the original personality of Godhead is like an ointment pencil that cures the conditioned soul's eye disease of ignorance. Yeah. We are so ignorant. Knowing we don't want to know. 
because of my ignorance. We don't want to relate with Eastern air, with Radha Mohan. Why? Because we so much burn out in relationship, we don't want to do a further relation. Are they burn out because of your foolishness, ignorance? What you're trying to find out relation, it never worked like this. Any material thing can give you happiness. <laughs> Money, power, sense enjoyment can give you happiness. Money can go till it is not finished. Power can go till you are powerful. And sense enjoyment even not go even a whole night. The moment you, you are finished, you turn away and run away. Even the whole night cannot go. What are you trying to find out? This is the goal of life. Money, power, and sense enjoyment can give you anything. They will keep, keep, keep you feeling every day and every day you start thinking in that and you forget the goal of life or what you come for. Suffering. I just wanted to say, with, with what you're saying, we see in the material world, you say people are getting burned out in relationships, looking for material love in relationship, and many people now, I see, instead of going to God, they go to dog. You see, they backwards, on dog. Now they get dog and they give all their love to the dog. Because the dog is not causing problem in relationship. Dog is not talking back. So they have this misconception. They worship the dog like the dog becomes God to them. Yes, right. You know, and see, putting the shit in the pocket, I think you never eat from the who has a dog from his hand, <laughs> because they, their pockets are all dirty. They put the shit in the pocket. I see from my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they carry back. <laughs> no, no, no bag. I was in Europe and I see they are collecting something. I said, what is it? Some jewelry or what is this? <laughs> Then, Pavitra uh, Prabhu uh, was with me. He said, Hello, brother, leave it. Don't go there. I said, What are you joking here? They are collecting something. I want to check that. He said, Please, not go there. And I went there. And I said, My God. They have a plastic bag, they collect shit and keep it comfortable. They are doing this whole morning. They are sadhana. This is their sadhana. So it's right. That we worship God, not God, dog. Because he is what I will say, they will obey my word. He who is so high.
Srila Kaviraj Goswami has also written the essence of knowledge is the knowledge that Krishna is the greatest Godhead. All other branches of knowledge such as Brahmagyana are simply related to this. Sri Krishna is the original personality of Godhead, the all-worshipable principle. As soon as this knowledge awakens in the Sambandha awareness that He is my eternal Lord, and I am his eternal servant awakens. Then the Abhidheya, the means, awareness of devotional service or bhaja is my only duty, will awaken in the Prayojana the goal, awareness of love for his lotus feet is my only desire. That's the point. He's the lotus feet. Not to any human lotus feet. So you are looking in him, to him in the Sudevi Shyamala. Because every place he is living in the heart. Then you will start looking everywhere to him, like a Jesus. That is Amitya. Then you have a Prayojana. The moment you use your senses, it's done. Kapoor. <laughs> He cannot relate with your senses because he is not material, he is a divine. Without this concept it is not working. And to understand we have to balance our senses. We not play game with the senses. This is my false ego. Say, Are, you are a man? You are a woman, you come to enjoy your senses. Enjoy, this is false you go to. You are not enjoying, you are a crazy man. If your ego is there, ego say, Are you are a body, you have a senses, why not use this? You are a man, you are a woman, Find some woman, and because you are a man, and find some man, and enjoy your senses, and this is your relation. All she goes said to me, and this is my ignorance. This is my foolishness. So I lose the real connection to the Divine and I don't love anyone. I love my body, I sense it, and I suffer in my ignorance. To bring out to that, if you are not conscious, and you are not fixed with this there, they will deviate you immediately. You have to see to Him everywhere. The moment you change this to see Him not everywhere, you will see the only human body. False ego will catch immediately. This is the, my immediately ignorance appears. Mm -hmm. 
even the pundit we can be ignored. This is Maya. Maya Shakti of the Lord. You see that? The goal is not there. His death is not there. He's a Brahmagyani. <coughs> I have not idea about my form. I have only idea about the soul for some moment, one minute, two minutes. I forget. This is a spark of Brahmagyani. How we can do bhakti? without fixing myself with relation with you, my dear. If I am not with you and I don't see you everywhere, I don't be doing anything. Funny. I will again become funny. Like a monkey. <laughs> they say, I'm a very renounced person. I have no house. I have no clothes. Only I eat fruits. For five, ten minutes, they cannot sleep without sex. This is monkey market by Ragya. Awareness, Prayojana, awareness of love for his lotus feet is my only desire for service cannot yield any happiness without love yeah. service why is mentioned service sweet again service without service there is no love for, for service cannot yield happiness without love without I have no love to this to death, we don't serve. And the moment you fall in love, your body will start dancing to serve. Jesus was crazy to all the moment to serve everyone. Why? He was in love with his father. Nobody see that. And priests want to teach that he don't know about love. And what he is doing? in love with his father. He will have trained. What is meaning? Love for is today. Is the love for the father. Then you see father everywhere. And then you want to serve everyone. That is love. Understand Kishori? Yes. The moment you love individually like this, you will come to the sex. Ignorance will eat you. Mm. And again they will make you kaput. 
And again you become dirty for nothing and suffering for nothing, new creation. And if you want to make your love to the pure, you see in the heart of your family, children, everyone that my lover is in your heart, so I have to bear you. You can do everything, but looking to him, looking to your yesterday, Radha that will be the service. Krishna Sukh Priti Vanja, that is Premna. Krishna Sukh, if you serve, this is your duty. Because you are looking to the, your father, your lover, in the heart of your beloved. Your your, your wife, your children, your family, your parivar, but not individual, then again ignorance will catch and the beauty of Krishna consciousness. See Him everywhere. See his love exchange everywhere and respect that and serve that. That is consciousness. If not that ignorance, reverse of consciousness is ignorance. Right? Immediate ignorance catches how much you are renounced, no meaning. Not more than monkey you are renounced. Akur Mahasaya is saying, to that Sri Gurudev who destroyed my eye disease of ignorance. That's the job of Guru. He can explain us if I know listen and I know understand what I can do. He what Guru will do. He will suggest you and you ignore to listen. Believe it. I disease, my eye disease. My ignorance is my eye disease. You put the ointment in eyes, but you rub the ointment and don't want to see that. To destroy my eye disease of ignorance with the ointment pencil of divine knowledge. Divine knowledge. I have a material knowledge, he wants to give me divine knowledge. Divine connection. But I am. My ego is so powerful to me that I don't want to accept it. It's a beautiful book we have. Connection of all feelings is there. To that Guru Dev, <coughs> who has opened my eyes to divine knowledge that distinguishes between knowledge of relationship, samhanda, means, abhideya, and goal, prayojan, to that 
Sri Gurudev, I offer my humble obeisances. Yeah. Automatically, every day I will come. When you will feel that you are serving to the your Ishtadev, Radha Mohan, and you see the in the heart of Radha Mohan to everyone. And you serve and love like that. We check. Then what will happen? Your material bodily consciousness is finished. Twenty-four-seven, your mind is fixed in devices. Twenty-four-seven. That is its spirituality. Yes. Simple way. It's, uh, to do. it's a very simple and very easy process to practice to remove your ego. Ego is our problem. Ego makes ego make, become happy when I suffer. And he created the ego to suffer. He quotes from Rupa, Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam, Stapitanya Rabhuttale, Svayam Rupa, Kadamayam, Dalati Svaparatikam. When will Srila Rupa Goswami, who established the wish on Sri Chaitanya's mind on the surface of the earth, give me a place at his lotus feet? When will Srila Rupa Goswami, who established the wish on Chaitanya's mind, on the surface of the earth, give me a place at his lotus feet. Problem is my mind. <coughs> That's the problem. If the mind is free, ego will come. If you keep your mind free, ego will come. If it is connected, with divine, your yesterday, then he is not free. Ego cannot come in. Ego will sit in the mind, or yesterday will sit in the mind. Radha Mohan will sit in the mind. What you like, keep in mind. Ego will keep you material thinking, and then 
even slowly, slowly make so much disturb to you that he will sit. And then he will say, do this, do this. And our body has to do it. What mind say, body do. What mind will say, senses has to do. Mind will say, eat, you have to eat it. You have to drink it. What mind will say, you have to do. So how much you can in keep the purity in the mind to use your mind right with that the point with bhajan with isidev thinking fall in love with isidev how you can make mind to pure you will be more power now mind business is controlling to my senses, body, and my activities. You really understand. Material, mind, material person, is spiritual, mind is spiritual person. You want to be material, your mind will act like a material. To survive you can give some time, but be careful. And the moment you give time, they will make their circle bigger. Be careful. Use it for your management, but not leave there with the material circumstances. Slowly, slowly, habit will change your mind. Mind make us unbalanced. That is the problem. <coughs> we start from my mind. And this mind is very influenced with the false ego. Very much. I am this, I am that, I am this, I come for this. And you know, Western body, the baptization is also one problem. They baptize us, that soul not exists. They baptize when I was a child in Christian way. That soul never exists. Wow. Yeah, 100%. United States also? All, all this baptization, man's soul not exists. You come for enjoyment of your senses and you are, you have no soul. You come to enjoy and die. That's it. An Indian baptized with many gods. This Brahmina baptized. <laughs> Many gods. Ah, so they cannot fix in one Ishtadev. Ah, As to this Bhagavadi, Gaurapriya, they baptize different, different gods. Durga, Kadi, other Saraswati, they have to do worship. If they are Krishna Bhakta, they will go to Kali Puja. They will go for that, they will do that, they will do that. This is the baptizing, baptization of the Hindus. Western can fix easily in Krishna because they don't know. But, but Indian tries to fix to Prashanvaya, you will see. He's already baptized by that way. That many gods exist. <laughs> you will find that. And Western mind baptized with that, that is no soul. 
You can have a funny life, enjoy and be a funny man. <laughs> if you don't know, do the fun, and one new English word I listen, chill. You not make chill, <laughs> you not fun. <laughs> then what is the meaning of the life? Chill. Yeah. You guys first enjoy, chill yourself. What do you say? You need to think more. May I have a question? Some people are asking what is the meaning of this chill, so I'll just give you an example. Funny. Yeah, if someone is like agitated, they're upset, they're angry, then we say, chill, chill out, you know, relax, take it easy, cool off. Yeah. It means don't be uptight, don't be angry. The parents will get go and chill outside. <laughs> Find out how to relax it. <laughs> this is the Western world. Relax and enjoy something. One and chill. Everything is there. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Just, you know, everything's good. Just relax, don't worry. Good, if we have a question, yeah. should we ask something? Yes, sure. About the baptizing in the Christian um, church, I'm, I'm not super uh, knowledgeable about it, but I was also exchanging with my stationery in our understanding uh, Johannes, he was the first to give baptize and he was like preparing or hoping or praying for the appearance of Jesus and we understood that it is like an opening to the connection um, with God and it was forbidden by the Romans and they, kill, they killed him actually because they didn't want it to happen. Okay, but what did they do after that? Yeah, but this is something else. What something? Tell me, I don't know. I think that baptizing means there is no soul exists. You come to live one life and with the senses and enjoy the senses. They do this thing. You mean that we receive since the, our birth, we receive this uh, input? Yeah. Just the life, you mean this? Okay. Yeah. Also parents baptizing, all the circumstances baptizing me, that you, you come to do funny things and do and be happy because now new again birth you will get it. Yeah, this is uh, actually the baptizing is like a christening, it's a name giving ceremony. Okay. Give the name. But the baptizing yeah. means this meaning of the... But actually is he... They give the identity to the child. Give the identity yes. that you are ego. Yes. And you live in the, that ego. Yes. Not realize that you are a soul. Yes. You never believe that soul like this. So how I believe Yes, this is true. I, I know in my experience in Greek Orthodox, they give this, you know, patronymic. So they have in Russian the same practice. You get father's name, his middle name, you know, the patronymic, and grandfather's name is coming to you, and you get a grandfather's name and father's middle name. So this is establishing your identity. You are son, not of God, you are son of your father, your grandfather, and you're following in your footsteps, and you are... This is your then, no, 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 why you are doing this? Why you are living in ego? No, but we understand. Are you understand? You understand what I say you indirectly. Why ego is problem to creating to you all of Western devotees? Why you not leave ego? Because he is baptized from the childhood. Your father, mother, every circumstances. 
all the friends, they baptize you. Everyone is baptizing you that you come for funny life and enjoy. Ego. You don't know. I say means know the priest katha. I say this is the teaching of the Western mind. To develop your false ego and survive in the false ego. You believe me. You check yourself. Why the problem you suffer is up to 50 years? <laughs> because of this problem. Why not life will become peaceful? Money can give you peace. Power can give you peace. Sex can give you peace. No. If you see the peace was in the love of Jesus for divine peace coming. Peace is in the devotion who give the connection with divine. They are peaceful. That I want to see. I don't want to go in history geography. But ego baptizing is a ego baptizing. If I am not connected with divine, my ego is very high. If I connect, my ego is less. Why go in discussion? Try to understand means what I want to say. You check yourself. If you have no ego, no problem. If you have ego, that is the gift of your parents, your society, your tradition. Why ego is creating so much suffering? To that is to check. If you not check, you will not find it. If you not stop it, it will never stop it. That I want to say. All the problem is created by my mind and mind is influenced with the ego, not with divine. So why not to, to connect, to give the place to mind in peace? Why not you want to do that? Why not to connect with the Divine and try to develop relation with Him and mind make peaceful? That is my suggestion. I'm not going in history, history, baptizing is a process. How I have guided from my born childhood, how I, my breastfeeding was, in which circumstances. And then I want to live and suffer in that side. Oh, I cannot come out from that. After knowing, I want to suffer more. What worth again I will take? The people, animal who is suffering, that he birth will come. It's not human, but he will come. You see, human, animal, birds, snakes, so many things. I will change this body, then I have to go in some work. As for my karma, right or not? So why not I will get, take decision to change myself? That is my suggestion. Why want to be in circle of death, life and death? Why not can it do that?
This is very clear. He put ointment to us that I can see. Second thing was to what is the goal of our life? If I not know who give eyes to see Guru, what is the bhastu, what is the subject in your life, is as your relation with I just want to use a nice example. You say, sign the paper, you know. <laughs> sign, I am not this body, right? This is this beginning, this Buddha, this ascertainment of principle. You know, many times you go online, you want to do something, and you have to check the box, I consent, I agree. And only then you can do the thing, you see? So this is a basic principle. I agree with this philosophy basic philosophy that you're explaining so nicely. Then, then he comes to this preliminary blessing of Sri Rupa Goswami, yeah. begging for his peace. Rupa Goswami means who can be Avideha. Yeah. Teaching of Avideha, not do with the material body concept. Avideha, Avideha means do with this body but not for yourself, for divine. Avidya. That is the Avidya. Do with the divine consciousness. Then you will know the Pariyojan of your service. Now how to explain this? Understand? But to Mandana, how to explain? I don't know. I'm sure I think she understands because... No, she wants more clear. No, I think um, my point was that in the original meaning... <laughs>
that the original intention to baptize meant to connect to God, to love of God, and to connect to this um, community of those who want to love and serve God. But and I don't know that. And this deviated from no, no. the I, Sorry, I don't know yeah. what is the meaning of baptization. Yeah, she's, so I, I, she's just referring to the original thing of John the Baptist, you know, um, and this was a pure intention of Jesus, was to initiate people into this loving service of God. But, you're right, since that time, over 2,000 years, now this principle has become deviated into a kind of a basic material type of samskara. I don't know when the soul is not exist, from where you will love. <laughs> I don't know. If there is no soul exists, they don't believe in soul, then where, from which place you will love? From my senses I will love. There is no way to love, to recognize anyone. Only I will recognize my body and my false ego and my senses. How I will connect with God without soul? He is a divine. How my material body and my false ego can understand Him? I don't understand. Jesus understood it. And Jesus should live it. I am not Jesus. Yeah. How I will understand? That you explain me. I am not Jesus. How I will? You are Jesus? No, of course not. Then uh, how you will understand? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if he explained this to you. I don't know. I don't understand. So maybe explain me. I am not Jesus. How I will understand without soul? How I understand if I am body and my senses and ego, how I will understand what I have, I will understand that. See? What I have, I have to understand from that. Explain me how to understand. I give you three days time to explain and explain me. Please explain me and explain me how I understand. I have no soul. I have only false ego, my body and money and all wealth. How I will understand Jesus. Forget Krishna. Jesus, how I will understand. And it's love. Can I add something? Yes, yeah. This is the reason when from childhood I was searching, I was close to Jesus and they asked priests, they talk about soul and love and forgiveness and I asked them and they go from one to another, they co could not explain to me and now I think they are not realized. They talk about this and, and I don't find answers and this brought me here to you. Here I see I find answers. Bandana <laughs> say the teachers in baptizing society. So I say explain me how to understand without soul. She understands so she can explain. 
No, I don't understand, but I, I, I understood that this might be the original intention. Maybe I'm wrong, but otherwise it would be... And why the problem comes? That's the ignorance. My foolishness. Then problem entered to me. And I want to be foolish. That is my problem. I do mistake and I don't want to change myself. This is my foolishness. Foolish will never change. <coughs> I, yeah, I, I want to give some clarification, I think, to understand what, what, what uh, so, so we have like a prophet will appear, right? A prophet like Jesus, Muhammad, there's many Indian gurus also consider themselves like prophet. They're coming with some, we say, some enlightenment, some self-realization, but they're not giving, they're not giving that what we're reading here. They're not giving that I am the soul. They're just saying, give me a hug, or I touch your head, or something, you come to some workshop, and then you can be self-realized. But there's no real, pure ointment putting in the eyes, there's no real um, thing there, you know? And then the, the people are in illusion because they think, oh, I had some association with this or that, so now I'm on this path of liberation, but still they're doing nonsense. Still they're acting in body consciousness so much. I think that, you know, he's saying that to have the real perception, the real conception in your heart that I am soul, this is only coming through the bona fide guru, but this is not the goal. You see, then we go to this, this Abhideya, doing the service with love, this love in action, this service, which is what is, you know, recommended, the path for all of us. So, with Christianity also, my experience was that like you were saying, the priest, he's not giving any real... The priest is not qualified. He's not guru. He's doing some rituals. They're reading the Bible. But there's no real um, sambanda there. There's nothing is there. They're saying, surrender to Jesus and all your sins will be forgiven and you will go to heaven. It's very simplistic. There's no work to be done. There's no prayotan. There's no abhideya. There's no samhanda. All of that is missing. This is doctrine. You know, doctrine is like dogma. You see? This is some empty words. And nothing is happening. People are still going on with this nonsense in the bodily consciousness. You see? No, of course, I totally agree. Yeah. This is about making Beichte and tell your sins and then it will be forgiven. Of course, this is no means. You even see in Mafia, you know Mafia? This, the murderers, killers, the worst people in the society, very religious. They're going every Sunday to the priest, to the church. Yeah, yes. They're taking the sacrament, the communion, praying to the Lord, saying Lord's Prayer, and then they go out murdering, killing, raping, and doing so much nonsense. Yeah. yeah, you can see in the films, it's true. But it is said in Bhagavad Gita, yeah. They demoniac nature, they pray today I, I kill this enemy and, uh, yeah. and they pray God, please let me kill you. Oh my God. It is the same. We also heard yesterday the story, the thieves who took the money. Remember the story he was telling? So I didn't get the full meaning of exactly, but um, these thieves, these decoys in Vrindavan, they're doing some prayer, they're getting some city. Uh -huh. Where is the money? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> With the help of some demigod or something, I didn't quite remember that part. So then they're getting knowledge. It's being revealed through the CD, where is the money? And then they go to the house, open the door, seven they go in, take the seven lot, and then they say, Rade, Rade. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 
we see so many things in the name of spirituality, right? They're calling it spirituality. So we see so many things in now. It's all of this different practices. You see, people believe that it's spiritual, but there's no knowledge, realization of I am soul. This is missing. And they're doing things, chakra meditation, astral body, so many things. They tell spiritual, my spiritual path. But there's nothing spiritual about it. It's all on this material level. Oh, interesting. Even Christian does not believe so hard to speak Buddhist. And then Buddhists go to negation or, you know, like loneliness or go to enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Guru Dev said, Japanese is like a monk, mm -hmm. monk consciousness. Mm -hmm. so people are wrong, yes. no, no relation. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is kind of Buddhist mentality. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but Christian will Christian become more enjoyer. Oh, I can do this, man, you know, that's what I can enjoy. <coughs> and the Christians are famous. The Christians are most famous for taking a pure teaching of Jesus and completely turning it upside down. Not only baptism, in the United States, the people who came to the U.S. from Europe, they're saying, oh, we are Puritan, we are very pure devotees, Christian, the purest, the Puritans. We come to the U.S. and we have divine right, oh, God, to take this land and kill the natives, the Native Americans, slaughter and kill them because God has given us this divine right because we are so pure, so righteous. And there are so much voices. Horrible. And then they're burning the witches, the witches who are speaking up and maybe have some realization actually. Some of these women have some realization and they're burning them at the stake because you're going against God. No, you're, you're saying something against the same thing with the Spanish Inquisition. Anyone that questioned anything, burn them at the stake. Burn them alive in the name of God. What to speak of the Muslims? You know, surrender to Allah or we chop your head. <laughs> you know? But I had a question for, the day for you. So many of us from the West, we feel a really strong attraction, obviously, through your mercy and through the, the grace of Lord Krishna, we feel so much mercy and so much purity in this path of bhakti. Yes? So when we come to India, we feel, you know, India is a spiritual place. We see that so many people are surrendering. So many people are seeing, when you say namaste, namaste, you saying, I see the soul in you. I recognize that you are Atma. You see? So we, we like to be in India, but now, after coming for so many years, we see now India is adopting so much nonsense, this egotistical, ego-centered behavior of the West, and it's coming more and more into India. All culture in that one is all Western world. Yeah, even the whole Western world. Yeah. Even Matra. Really? Even Matra. Wow. Even so, Agra. So is this, this, this is the influence of Kali Yuga? Kali Yuga. And Brindavan also they want to influence. <laughs> So it's it's difficult, you know, now to 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 accept this. It's difficult to accept. How can we accept this and keep our faith strong? It's really a challenge, you know. As as so this is the only thing. We have to fix ourselves. If no fix in Vrindavan, it's not easy to fix outside. Ah, also now it's not easy to fix outside. Ah. If you not get this chance in Vrindavan, ah. I I feel that it's almost impossible 
When you leave Vrindavan, you leave the holy dham in the west to, to really practice this this sambandha. Once a week, one become career. Yeah. Then some potential will be there. No. Battery become discharged. You know to use the car. You have to again charge it. No. If you want to charge, you can come to charge it. But it's not charged. And you not want to charge, it become dead. If you want to charge, it will not become charged. <laughs> After some time. Mm -hmm. This is our position, battery position. If I avoid to charge it, that's a good one. Yesterday, huh? we, we charge it gas but, um, without, without charge gas is a problem. If you are not charge in your vision, how time you gonna charge? Yeah, I think you know, this lifetime we should just do it this. I like the more what no no Kariuga. So you're saying not necessary to have temples outside, not necessary to you know build these big temples and things because I think this relates to what you just well, said. To make temple is uh, Matter hai kara. Huh? Matter hai kara. Hmm. Let's keep it. Uska ka chori bana do ya paratha bana do. Aaj ka dasi na? Oh. Tab to nahi kam se. Chhing hai. Kala bana na. Yeah, I'm just asking to repeat the part about um, so building temples and establishing you know these physical buildings. Again, and, again, material. Yeah. So it's also again when I leave other catch. So without you saying that we need to charge. Inner, inner consciousness. Inner Just building temples, it becomes a material endeavor. And the, the essence, the Shakti, the divine energy is not there. It just becomes uh, rituals and material things. And then body consciousness comes back and then the whole thing becomes kind of corrupt. Establish temple in the heart first. Only paper. You know? Prabhupada, why make temples? Because the, the young boys, they start collecting money. So Prabhupada think to use this mind and hand energy to building the society. Because they will collect money and they will do it too. They never involved. <coughs> <laughs> then they start fighting, then he start developing more place. Okay, you go there and do that. Then they, he start using, using the ego of them in building temple and collecting money. Because they don't want to leave it. <coughs> so why didn't Srila Prabhupada, if he could see, is in all of his classes, even after five, ten years, he's still giving the, the 
the initial principle, you are not his body. He's still giving this in every class. Even Nobody the, listen, ready. Even the devotees, 10, 20, 10 years devotees. Like I'm listen. telling, Bandana not want to listen. Why? Because ego is so high. We don't want to accept it. Accept it. We go don't want to give entry to the reality. When we are ready to accept it, then change comes. <laughs> Therefore, they cannot go only our father say, go to, you know, like a prayer back each other and go to the other and they cannot go. Understand? Why is a I? Then Pahupad cannot teach Raga Bhakti in this situation. Too much ego, too much material consciousness. That is the point. Then some person is very, some has greed. They are looking for outside to, 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 to get the more high, high, high consciousness, high love, and kind of some food, Rashi Kabaisha. But uh, if no greed, okay, I'm very comfortable in this society. No, I'm very happy. This is our situation. Right? Asama is fortunate. No, actually, I want to get this, this bhakti, this raga bhakti. I need more, more, what do you say, more nice association, nice association. No, raga, no, no. No. Even in the Bhadi, Prabhupada write page 4, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Keep it there. Keep it in bed. Why he write here in bed? Uh, why he write Sarup, Sarup Siddhi? This is the basic to develop relation. <coughs> <laughs> if you are not related with divine, you are not a spiritual or practicing. Mm. Is a religious practice. <laughs> Is a religion. Sex. Is not anything. You make one sex. Is a religion. In the name of his spirituality, you make that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but his spiritual is spiritual. And he teaches spiritual. But we don't want to accept it. That our first thing. And who's, who has the ointment in eyes, they can understand. Gurudev, Swarupa, Swarupa city is like uh, one says highest thing, right? Daganuga Bhakti. But uh, if I know that's my Swarupa mm -hmm. and I want to perfect, then I will do that. Mm -hmm. I need greed for that. Mm -hmm. 
I am very happy with what I have. Why I will bother for that to know? <laughs> that, that is our special. <laughs> Especially someone who is advanced material life, they feel some happiness, not to some extent. What I know, I am happy with that. Then I have no greed. I am not happy with what I have or what by my previous life. Then I want to change myself. But the Goswami, they are always hankering. Hey, Rade, hey, Brother David Kejarashite. So, their mood is so much greed. Hoya, hoya, Radhika. Where can I see you? When I can, you know, yeah. this is <coughs> so much greed there. Yeah. This is, uh, I think, Swarupa and Swarupa city. That's why they know this taste, that's why this greed comes. I think. Sorry, please, question. Yesterday, Mahani Swami said, Vaiti Bhakti for everybody, but Ranga Bhakti, Ranga Nunga Bhakti in Kishore. Ranga Bhakti, Ranga Nunga Bhakti is not for everybody. Someone who has Ranga can practice. Without Ranga, we cannot practice. What is meaning of Ranga? Hmm? Ranga is like a Greed. Someone who has greed for for Rag means love. The love. The Rag means the love. Mm. Who has no love? Hmm? Who has? Oh. Which human has not love? Mm. Every soul, every being is a love. Yes. But the cover is the good day. <coughs> that is different. They need material love. They want suffering love. One want divine love, no suffering love. But who has no love? So, foolish want suffering in love. They want to suffer. They want to disease themselves. That is our situation. Mental disease. And body disease. Female get so heavy disease. Um, a lower part of our so heavy disease, and they cannot use their instrument for doing further. Mm. But they are not bother for suffering. Mm. They call them ego. False. They know, but they do that. They don't bother. They don't bother to do something. They cannot stop it. You know? They are ready to suffer. They want to exchange this. They want to suffer, but they not want to stop it. What you can do? It's what you would say, ignorance or what? Illusion. Ignorance. Someone who is like an illusion, you know? 
アソシエーションブッドアソシエーションイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイエスイ
and if you accept Radha, you start living in the your body, made spiritual body. Soul is twenty four seven. You touch the only soul consciousness is Krishna. Mm. Only you believe, you start believing that you are a uh, soul mm. and you other thing do mm. is a Krishna consciousness. Mm. Radha consciousness means you accept your form of the soul mm. and you are living there. Mm. Mm. You are in your form with your feeling. Mm. The moment you will lose when your soul is not there, your heart is not there. Mm. She is present, you are there. You lose her, your soul of soul is Radhika. You lose her, your spiritual body will finish. It will not touch this. Again it will become so. <laughs> this is the point. So it's like chemistry. Knowing soul and living in the soul. Answers. <coughs> Without, we cannot live in the soul consciousness. Without form. Without some activities, how you will live there? Only to touch, to think. You have to live there. For living there, you need body. That is a spiritual body. Hmm. For, uh, you said you are the soul. You are Radhika. How you say? Can you please explain this more when you say? Well, some We are the soul of Radhika. Radhika is our soul. Does not be part and past like part. We are the past. We are the shadow. What can you explain? That means spiritual body comes from Radhika, which is original soul. <coughs> and if we forget Radhika, we forget the relationship with Radhika, then automatically our, our consciousness of soul, Swarpa consciousness, will, will disappear, then become bodily conscious. <laughs> That also he said, I guess. Is it, is it clear or...? Yes, exactly. I was going to try to explain also, but you said it exactly. So, <clears throat> if we have a spiritual consciousness, in other words, if we know we are soul, this can only be through Radharani's connection, her shakti, her Radini shakti. This is the soul, is emanating the source is Radhika. But we still have this material body and mind. So this has to be transformed by adopting this svaru, this identity, this spiritual body, you see, through this majority body, you see. Then when we receive this svaru, then there's no question, as long as you remember who we really are, then there's no question, this material consciousness, this material body cannot invade the 
see, cannot, they cannot take over. But if we forget who we really are, we forget our true identity, and we lose this sort of, then we fall back into this, like you were saying, this material consciousness, material body, material mind, and then we have to start over again, get recharged, and like this. So the important thing is to keep this current, you keep like an electrical current, is coming through Shrimati Radhika, through her love, her loving potency, which is coming from Krishna originally, and, then, and this is Radharani's energy, and we are receiving this from Guru, and Saru, and then we we live, we act, all of our activities are through this spiritual body, which is strongly, strongly attached to this rag, we say, this love, to pleasing Shimati Radharani as Manjari. You see? This is very simply explained by Gurudev. You see, it, it, am I explaining nicely or...? Very good, yes. yeah. One thing, in the beginning, <coughs> knowing soul, and sometimes you stay there, you are Krishna conscious. Mm -hmm. But, you are not permanently living in soul. Mm -hmm. Because knowing soul, I cannot live permanently. Without form. Mm -hmm. And Krishna will never give you form. Because he has so many work, he don't want to give. He has not this department. He will never give you form because he, mother likes you play toys. Make free toys. So God wants you to engage yourself in my construction, my development project. So he creates the choice to that. But mother is unconditioned, loving, caring. She don't bother, she don't want to, to waste our time to eat the food. And this is mother's duty. And when this form comes, on a yeah, so she, she gives the Maharaja view that form. So she gives the form to the soul. Soul form. She gives to the soul form. To my soul. So therefore, so merciful, very kind of mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. this is the loving potency. Mm -hmm. Read this. Uh, which one? Ah, Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhuttale Svayam Rupa Kadabhayam Tadati Svapadantikam This This is Narottama This is Narottama Das Goswami He's He's begging for mercy of Rupa Goswami to be part of this this loving realization that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's vision for the world. Mahaprabhu came to the world to distribute this love, this prem, this is Radhika's energy. This is what this rag is for this, you see? This is why we're here and why we're not in different ashram. <laughs> so all of us here, we're here because we have this deep anchoring, this deep desire to enter into this highest feeling of love. 
profundo sentimento to know myself, per conoscere me stesso che io sono l'anima vivente so 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 not this body non questo corpo not funny my senses non per divertirmi non è questo l'obiettivo della vita questo è l'obiettivo della vita e chi mi ha creato io non faccio niente io Tomorrow is very beautiful. It's coming exactly to the crystallizing the the point. It's very very nice. Yeah. 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 Just giving, you know, just looking to tomorrow's. No, no, today, today. You want to do now? Now, now. In order to, in order to fulfill some special desires in Viraj Lila, the original personality of Godhead, Sri Virajendra Nandana, who is the abode of matchless beauty and sweetness, has become Gora, accepting Sri Radha's feelings and complexion. That is Gora means Radha. Not Gora. Gora Gajadhara Adati. Gora is Arthar Brahma. Not Gora Nagari. Gora is the Radha. Gora is Radha. Who not accept this, they do that. This is the Braju Homi. This is the Braju Homi.
We are Sundar Bhakti. Only you can get it in Prajavu. With realized soul as Usually Baba did never leave Vrindavan. Mm-hmm. Maybe he, sometimes he may go, mm-hmm. you know, like a one day trip, but uh, you, you know, even yeah, come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some always go around <laughs> <Baba Dib. laughs> <coughs> He had two desires on his mind. One for himself and one for the world. Now, it's referring to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His own desire is primary and his desire for the world is secondary or auxiliary. Sri Ramananda Roy has told Sriman Mahaprabhu, your own secret agenda is to relish your own love. <laughs> your own secret agenda is to relish your own love. And as a concomitant factor, you filled the three worlds with prema. As a concomitant factor, you filled the three worlds with prema. How, how is Radha's love for me? How is Radha's love for me? How is my sweetness? And how is she absorbed in this? Accepting Radha's feelings, Sri Chaitanya Dev fulfilled these three desires in so many ways. While relishing this mental desire, after the sweetness of Radha's love himself, he had it established and preached to the world by his own dear associate, Srila Rupa Goswami Pada. Yeah. But, yeah. I just want to finish the sentence. In whom the desire had arisen to make the people of the world also relish it in the form of a maidservant of wow. Shimati Radharani. This is Rupa Goswami. Yeah. Yeah. Sri Chaitanya yeah. yeah. This is Manobhistam Mahaprabhu. So they say it, you know, in the temples, in the part of before class, you, you know, they're saying this, but the realization is no. missing so much. No. Because in the class it's never coming. <laughs> never no. said. We, we repeat many times. <laughs> So this is so beautiful because it's getting to the heart, to the essence of what is bhakti yoga, what is the meaning of bhakti. Exactly. Yeah. So I've had this hankering for the last four or five years, you know, but looking where to find, where to find. Coming here sometimes and feeling and then COVID is coming and then during COVID, the more and more desire is growing, right? Because of separation. Now, coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.